Hi, this is Tim of the 1916 Company. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email us. Tmaso at the 1916company.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any of our platforms. Please reach out to us directly. Tmaso at the 1916company.com. Today, we're discussing a 2015 model year stainless steel 200 piece limited edition. For the 55th anniversary of Grand Seiko, this was an Asia Pacific regional limited series. It is the Grand Seiko Hybeat GMT SBGJ015. So this is a watch that features the much loved 44 GS case in stainless steel, a dial that includes 50 five monogrammed Grand Seiko lions on a dial base, much like traditional Japanese paper. 40 millimeters in diameter, this timepiece measures 14.8 millimeters thick. If you're just measuring the lug to lug, it's 46.2 millimeters. If you measure the end links of the bracelet, it's a broader 49.5 millimeters with a 19 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We will zoom out a little bit, throw the watch on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, and it wears beautifully. Now, if it were just the watch without the bracelet, I'd say you could wear this on a wrist size as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference on the bracelet, which increases the span across the wrist a little bit. I would say a 14 centimeter circumference wrist. There is some stepping and sloping to the case band. It will get hung up on the tightest of dress sleeves, but jackets should be universally fine, as should many shirt sleeves. Taking a look, you can see that the lugs really come nowhere near the edge of my wrist, and this down the barrel angle is the definitive one for fit. Over the top always exaggerates the width of the watch. All in steel, it features a bracelet to match with a conforming end link to better mate it to the case, a combination of polished intermediates and satin primaries, as well as satin shoulder links. You can see there's a little bit of a rolled bevel transitioning from the top of the link to the mirrored flank, because this is a steel Grand Seiko watch. The removable links are fixed by screws, and you can see on each side of the clasp, there is an intermediate sized link in case you find yourself in between sizes. Single fold, thick gauge steel deployant. Note that the logo features a combination of satination polish and media blast excellent attention to detail twin trigger release so you have to press both to open this up watch beautifully made in japan featuring that polyhedron like profile that's been characteristic of the 44 gs since the original model launched in 1967 now everything that's polished is truly mirror finished and extraordinarily decorated this is a black polish or mirror finishing called zaratsu which is executed on zalitz machines that have spinning tin plates and while the machines are of European origin, the foremost practitioners of this art are the folks at Grand Seiko, Seiko, and Crador. And it takes about three years to master this type of polishing. You are getting a genuinely hand-finished watch at a price point where the Swiss won't even give you a whiff of hand finishing. You could see that the crown which is a screw down, is slightly countersunk, so it doesn't stick out too far obtrusively. Now it is a screw down crown and the watch does have 100 meter water resistance. You could see two different time zones on the dial. One is the local time zone and by moving that hour hand, traveling east or west across the international date line, you can turn the date independently. Note that the watch keeps ticking and the other two hands, minutes and Travel time hours are not affected, but if you pull the crown out all the way, now stop seconds is activated and you could set everything in sync. The 12 and 24 hour time zones, they are of course independent. This is a true GMT style watch. The seconds hand at center is genuine fire blued steel, a touch that I adore. We talked about the hand finished case. We have a hand finished dial. All of the dial furniture, such as these micro faceted indices and the razor like hands, are faceted on diamond-tipped micrometric milling tools by artisans who focus on these mini operations, and then they are placed and caulked manually on the dial. And I've often said Rolex and Grand Seiko co-equally have the best dial quality in the mainstream luxury class, but they go about it different ways. Rolex is scientifically, industrially perfect. Machines don't make mistakes. Grand Seiko does it with people, but that much more care and time spent. Taking a quick look, 
You can see those Grand Seiko lions monogrammed on there 55 times for 55 years of Grand Seiko back in 2015. Of course, the brand started in 1960. Taking a quick look, you'll also appreciate that the second sand is particularly smooth. No, it's not spring drive, but at 36,000 vibrations per hour, it beats 10 times per second, giving it an El Primero-like heartbeat and a smoother sweep. Automatic winding, it features a 55-hour power reserve, and you can see on the reverse, 37 pivot joules and six position adjusted. So six positions, one more than a standard chronometer and one more than a standard high horology watch. For example, a Vacheron Patrimony would be five. This is six. And as tested on the timing stand, these are verified to no worse than minus three plus five seconds per 24 hours by the folks at Grand Seiko. And you can see made proudly in Japan. A lovely watch in every regard and definitely off the beaten path. If you want to get away from the Swiss Luxury 3 and you want something hand finished at well under $10,000 from a brand with real integrity, I highly recommend Grand Seiko. Reach out to Team Also at the1916company.com for purchase and pricing details.